Gary McDade, aka the Pirate Hunter, and this is an inbox kit review of Tamiya's 2004 135th scale military miniature series number 180 German tank engine maintenance crew set. This, what you see, is basically what you get inside the box, other than there is one item on the side that you, I'll show you when we look at the outside of this. You get the two crew figures, you get the blowtorch, the oil drum, the oiler, there's a hammer, screwdriver, tubular wrench, and another tool kit. Uh, this is a little different than a lot of the Tamiya figure kits because this is a top opening box instead of a end opening. So let's look at the sides of it and see what we got here. On this side here, it shows you the compatible compatible kits for this engine here, which is a Maybach HL230 engine. Uh, it will is compatible in the kit number 35177, 35169, 35164, 35170, and 35146. Don't ask me which ones they are. I've never built a Tiger in my life. The end of the box, standard as the uh, top. On this has a tubular wrench, a screwdriver, a hammer, oiler, uh, torch, oil can, toolbox battery, toolkit, and the standard uh, 200 liter drum that comes in most of the Tamiya kits. So let's open it up, see what we got in here. I've opened it up, but I haven't looked at it that much. I haven't opened the bags up yet for it. You open it up, i got to set this camera down a little bit. You open it up, and inside here you find a bag with two sprues, the directions, and inside on the inside of the bottom box is in about 13 different languages um, important information about this kit. So, standard information that's in most of the Tamiyas. On the direction sheet, it sh shows Maybach HL230. 30 P30 engine and it shows this one here was used on the King Tiger and the Panther this one was used on the Tiger 1 and it says tank shown at right used the Maybach HL230 engine which was the Panther Yag Panther King Tiger Hunting Tiger Tiger 1 and a Sturm Tiger down here it says uh, this one was used on King Tiger and Panther and this one on the Tiger 1. Here is some information about the kit and the engine so I'll hold it there for a second so you can pause it hopefully you can read it. And then this goes down gives it in several different languages here. Top standard in uh, Japanese the different information on it. You open it up not a very big sheet of directions. Standard thing from read before assembly uh, from Tamiya the tools, paints required, uh, glues required, and here is your color call out instead on the back of it here's your on the sheet here's your color call out for all the different uh, things you're going to build. Step one is the bulkhead modification and it depends on which one you're going to put the, uh, the 230 in, either Tiger 1 and a Sturm Tiger. You, you, you do uh, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 8. The Panther is 1, 3, 6. The King Tiger is 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. It says remove areas indicated as outfitted for outlined for the tank chosen. You come down to this, and this is assembly gives you your assembly for your Tiger 1 and Sturm Tiger and it says follow steps 3 and 4 which are on the next page for Panther and King Tiger shows you all how to put it all together all the accessories that it is on it shows you how to mount it to the upper hall underneath it turn the instructions over here or open them up and this is for the engine assembly for the Panther and King Tiger on this one and then you have notes over here, steps 3 and 4 are not needed for Tiger and Sturm Tiger. 
different says remove and then you have this here it says remove for King Tiger so and then installation Panther and King Tiger and King Tiger on this standard upper hull not included then you come down to the accessories it shows you how to put toolbox together and this all the color callouts now this ladder apparently has a an alignment fixture on the B sprue to set it up so align it right now if I'm going to use it I'll take some of my lead sheeting make some type of looks like a hinge up there on it and put a piece of rope or something through here a chain or something so it can't go open too far and do it that way so it can be folded up and used on the back page it has uh, the accessories the color call out on the accessories on this and then the accessories uh, the figures color call outs on them painting it says down here it says paint painting engine and tank crew get some different call outs on that it says about weathering uh, German uh, markets market aftermarket service card if you're missing the items on it and this uh, German tank engine maintenance set. So there's your directions on it. Let's look at the bag and see what we got inside here. Closed with the uh, staples. Two sprues in this. First sprue is of uh, the engine. Uh, different air cleaners on it, different types of uh, water, I guess water lines. I've never worked, I've never built a tiger. So I'm wandering into a strange area. Maybe this is a sign I ought to build one someday. Uh, some of your tools and the little, I don't know if you can see it or not, the little oilers, you know, got a pretty good, pretty fine uh, handle on it and spout on it. The blowtorch looks pretty good on it also. This the battery pack. Some of the different parts. These are the bulkheads, different bulkheads you gotta modify on it. Different parts for the engine. This sprue has your oil can on it, the toolbox parts here to assemble put together. This is the open toolbox here that's got tools in it. Some tools and empty spots where you can see where they're taken out and using them. The hammer looks good. There's the ladder on it, the top and bottom of the oil drum. And I'm trying to see, oh, here is the four places to align the ladder to set it up. The Tamiya figures are, they're not too bad. They're pretty standard Tamiya figure on them. Uh, faces aren't too bad. The detail looks fairly decent on them. On it, standard, like I said, standard Tamiya on it. You've got the two different ones in two different poses. The hand looks good. The hands look good on them. So, not a bad looking little kit. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for it. I got it off of eBay. I wasn't going to buy any more kits, but I decided that uh, based on this, I needed a couple more figures. And I needed uh, somebody, some mechanics, working on this generator system back here that has been Grouse Creek Field Engineered onto, uh, is being Grouse Creek Field Engineered onto a anti-aircraft gun trailer. Because this Welcome to Potsdorf build has got fairly good sized. The rail car in the background there, I'm not too happy with either floor that I made for it. When I do the uh, final reveal on that, that's all that's left on that. It's been painted. It needs to be uh, weathered and stained on it. The generator setting there needs to be finished being put together. And There's a lot of small uh, photo etch on it because, believe me, I learned you can lose it real quick, little tiny pieces. The one on the left here, the kitchen set up from the Soviets that has been captured, left there, uh, appropriated, however you want to say it. That is almost together. I've got the 
engineer bridges are done and put together that are used for the offloading. The end of railway stop has been done. The water pump that goes with this and the bucket that goes with it with a handle and the uh, uh, watering trough has been done. The drawing, the pattern has all been laid out. I've just got to get the plywood to put the base on it. And I've even started on the 250 slash 9. I cut both of the tarps off of the fenders on the Tamiya 250 slash 9. And I'm using tops from uh, tar tops tarps from uh, Value Gear in their place. They just look a little bit better. The rest of it, the rest of the 250 slash nine will be built totally out of the box, uh, other than maybe a few, because this 250 slash nine, where it's getting two pot stored, is coming straight out of the showroom off the showroom floor. This was picked up, was taken from the factory, loaded onto a rail car, and has been delivered to Potsdorf. And that's where it doesn't have a lot of stuff on it. And this is going to be interesting because I'm still doing some research on markings in this, but this will not be essentially weathered other than possibly... Uh, soot on it, dust, maybe had been rained on on the way there because these steam locomotives were coal fired. So you will have that coming off of it onto it in this. So it will be different than most builds where it's got the weathering, the chipping, uh, the dings, the dents, things like that in it. So we'll see how it all turns out. And as far as, as I started to say on the flooring, I don't like the way either one of them turned out. This was a real learning curve on this thing. I did manage to get the uh, wear patterns on it and everything else. But when I do the railroad car, I will explain both of them, the final reveal on that. Which, since I'm no longer working two jobs, will hopefully be this next week, coming week on that. So... We're working on the welcome to Potsdorf. We're getting it there. So hopefully we'll have it done in eight, nine years. So this, as always, this is Terry McDade, a.k.a. the Pirate Hunter. And to quote the great Jerry Springer, take care of yourself and each other.